It's Bedtime William by Deborah Nyland. It's Bedtime William was nominated for the 2012 Children's Book Council of Australia Awards and was shortlisted. William, no more jumping, said Dad. William, it's bedtime now, said Mum. But I'm not tired, not one little bit. It's bedtime, William. It's late. But we've told you umpteen times. Yes, but we've read you a really long story. What if? And let you watch TV. Can I? One more kiss good night, and off you go. But quick sticks. It's bedtime, William. Now. He's saying not fair. Oh. My goodness. I think I know why he wasn't in bed. What? Mum! Dad! There's a lion in my bed! <laughs> No lions allowed in your bed, William, said Dad. Tell it to remove itself at once, said Mum. But won't he eat me up? asked William. Be brave, said Dad. Be friendly, said Mum. Here goes. William tiptoed over to the bed. Um, excuse me. Who's that waking me up? mumbled the lion. It's me, William, and it's my bed, and you have to get out right now. Why? asked the lion. Because my mum said so. The lion sat up. Is your mum mad at me? William patted a paw. Don't worry. Well, where am I supposed to sleep? asked the lion. William thought for a moment. This trundle bed. That's where my friends sleep. Hmm, that might be okay, said the lion. Guess what, said the lion. I'm not tired anymore. Let's play. Whoosh, thump. Dad's voice boomed up the stairs. William, stop that racket and go to sleep. Anyone would think you had a wild animal in your room. We'll be done. I'm sort of tired now, said William. I'm not, said the lion. Let's play hide and seek. Found you! Found you! <laughs> oh, it's bedtime now, William yawned. But I'm not tired, not one little bit, said the lion. I'll tell you a story then, said William. William told a story about lions in jungles. I want a funny story this time. William told a story about lions in frilly pants. The lion rumbled with laughter. Another story? he asked. No more stories. It's bedtime now. I'm cold, said the lion. William gave him a blanket. My bottom feet are cold, whimpered the lion. William wrapped his feet in woolly jumpers. I'm thirsty, said the lion. William gave him a glass of water. Do you want to see me gargle? Not really, said William. Another drink? The lion held out his glass. No more water. It's bedtime now. Well, that lion, he's got to go to bed. I'm hungry, said the lion. Here, have my lunchtime apple. Mmm, tasty, said the lion. You're eating so slowly, said William. Hurry up. Nearly finished. The lion sighed. What's the matter? asked William. Have to go to the toilet. Quick sticks, said William. I'll count to ten. Did you clean your teeth? Yep. Show me, said William. Mmm, sparkly. Tuck me in again? Okay. Can I have a teddy too? Here. Will you sing me a song? Um, can we jump on the beds? No. Let's have all night? No. 
Do you want to hear a joke? It's really funny. No, no, no. Wait, there's one more thing. What is it now? Good night, William. Sleep at last, said Daz. He's worn himself out this time. That's funny. I've never heard William snore before, said Mum. Look, here's the lion's tail. He's the one snoring, but they can't see him. Oh, look, there he is. He's even got the cat curled up on him. The end.